From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. After a cool start, the temperatures will begin to warm up this afternoon. Greg will have your full forecast coming up. But first, though, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. A Tampa driver now charged with DUI after police say he drove the wrong way on Dale Mabry Highway. Officers say the driver crashed into a car around 3.30 this morning just south of Hillsborough Avenue. Neither driver suffered serious injuries. More charges, though, are pending. In Lakeland, crews are letting a fire burn itself out at a pallet recycling plant. This started Saturday night. No homes are in danger and nobody's been hurt, but there's a lot of smoke in the surrounding area. Officials say pallets, mulch and debris caught fire in parts of that 40 acre site. Today marks one month since an EF2 tornado blew through this Polk County neighborhood, leaving so much damage in its wake that storm victims say they won't be back in their homes until after the new year. But they can now apply for federal disaster aid. This rare, long track tornado damaged or destroyed dozens of homes near Kathleen. Again, some victims tell us it's going to be quite some time before they can move back into their, their homes. It got pretty tore up, but at the same time, in time we're going to be able to put it back, you know. We still got, you know, our health. Everybody came out of it okay, and that's that's the only way to really look at it. If you need help, representatives from the U.S. Small Business Administration will be at the Salvation Army on Kathleen Road until 6 this evening to answer your questions about the disaster loan program. The Cross Bay Ferry wants you to weigh in on a plan to make its service permanent. Officials are proposing year-round weeknight and weekend services between Tampa and St. Pete. They also want to add a route between Southern Hillsborough County and McDill Air Force Base. We posted a new survey. It's on abcactionnews.com slash links. There's good news if you need to fill up today. Gas prices are at their lowest point in nine months. In Tampa, you'll pay $2.28 a gallon for gas. That's down five cents in the past week. Prices are slightly higher in Sarasota. It's $2.33 there. And in Sebring, you'll pay $2.42 a gallon. That's still 18 cents cheaper than the national average. It's good news, you know. They have to run the heat <laughs> until it warms up a little bit and it will warm up Dia slowly but surely today we'll see temperatures in the low 70s more sun out there too. I have about 70 to 73 in most Bay Area towns seeing some light winds out there too. It should be a much better day than what we saw over the weekend when those temperatures were climbing only into the 50s. You can always get the latest hour by hour forecast by downloading the ABC Action News app. Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. The world's largest Christmas light maze opens at Tropicana Field on Friday. City of Paint St. Pete wants to help residents get discounted tickets to Enchant Christmas. Tickets for adults cost about $38 on weekends. But there's a code that you need to get a price cut. It's St. Pete 2019. You put that in when you buy your tickets online and your zip code and you get $15 off. By the way, kids under three are free. You can get news all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.